Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Natalie and today we're watching Baby Driver. Welcome back to my channel, everyone. Thank you so much for being here and welcome if you're new. Today we are watching the movie Baby Driver. This movie has been requested a decent amount over here on my channel. I have definitely seen it mentioned in some comments from time to time and I just want to rent it to watch it now, here, today, with you. And I noticed that it is directed by Edgar Wright, the same director who did the Cornetto trilogy, as well as Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. And suddenly, it's all making sense as to why I see this movie mentioned a decent amount of times. Y'all seem to love Edgar Wright here on my channel, with good reason. I feel like the movies I've seen from him have been really unique, really fast-paced with the editing, really fun, so... That's kind of the style I'm expecting from this movie. I almost wish that I hadn't looked at who directed the movie because it would have been a lot more of a surprise to me. But at the same time, I like to know sometimes who directed the movie when I sit down to watch it because it's an interesting lens to watch the movie through. So I'm excited to check this one out. That's really all I know about this movie aside from who's in it and who directed it. Um, it's called Baby Driver. So I would assume that uh, the youngest character played by Ansel Elgort is a driver who maybe drives fast. That's like, that's what, that's what I'm guessing. <laughs> I don't know what else is gonna happen. Just excited to see another movie from Edgar Wright and to have a fun time with y'all. So without any further ado, I think it's time to grab a drink, grab a snack, and let's get into the movie. Oh, it's a bank. Is he waiting in the car? They're so uniform in their movements. Oh, what's that actor's name? It's, it looks like the guy that plays the Punisher. He really loves the song, huh? Oh, the cops are here. The siren brought him back to reality, huh? It's all on cue to his song. Oh, it's a stick. Oh, they're coming after you. Oh, I saw Atlanta. So we're in Atlanta? Oh, that's his thing, huh? He's a, he's a driver. There's gonna be a lot of driving in this movie. We do bank heists. It is the Punisher. Oh, wow. Don't worry about it. He's got it. <laughs> I couldn't even handle, like, I could not handle being a stunt driver, y'all. This would stress me out. Even with everything perfectly choreographed, like, no. We did pop a tire, though, didn't we? Did we pop a tire or no? He avoided those. Holy I thought he popped one tire. Maybe not. Oh, my God. They can't keep up with this little car. Is he in a Subaru right now? <laughs> is he doing this in a Subaru? That's what it looks like. What the heck? I don't know car logos that well, but that's what... Oh. I'm sorry. Is this just happenstance that we just happen to find two cars that look a lot like ours? We switched. No way. Well, that was just lucky. You just got lucky there. Oh, I love this song. This is a fun one. Oh, not the remix. I see. I was getting ready for jump, jump around, but no, it's old school. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. B A B Y, baby. <laughs> That's his name. Is that what he just likes to go by? He lives his whole life in rhythm to the music. Oh, so does she, though. Just think that he thinks he's better than us. He wants to sit there in his car, and keep his white shirt clean. He put more sunglasses. <laughs> That's hilarious, he's got spares. You're gonna get blood on your hands and you're gonna find out that that don't wash off in the sink. I guess we'll find out. He's gonna get blood on his hands, something's gonna happen. These two make it out, ew, and the guy just watching them blowing bubbles, it's so weird. One more job and we're straight. Sound good? And we're straight, there's a difference there between we're straight and I'm done and you're done. 
Interesting. He's obsessed with music and lives his life to like the beat, but then his roommate is deaf. Something's gonna mess with his rhythm and make him a bad driver, I feel like. Retarded means slow. Was he slow? No. Was he slow? He's recording their conversations. No. Slow, slow, slow. He's making music. Oh my God, he's got a ton of songs. Oh, one's called Mom. Yeah, you can tell that one is important. It's yellow. It's different than the rest. Or it's gold, sorry. Did they die in a car crash? What's up with that? Is that from the crash? I feel like we gotta see that girl again that had headphones on the street. I feel like she's gotta come back around, but maybe I'm wrong. Oh, there she is! Ah! I had a feeling. I've seen too many movies now. And also now I've seen a couple Edgar Wright movies, so I know what it's supposed to happen. What can I get you this fine morning, sir? Ah. Um. Oh, I'm, you know, that's a kid's menu, right? He's so blustered. Oh, I don't know if I ever get off. They call, I go, you know. <laughs> oh my God, really? Oh, uh, so you decided anything yet? You are so beautiful. <laughs> You just decided that. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> She's such a friendly waitress. B -A -B. Oh, Baby. I just realized the song she's singing, like it's more of a, a sign for him because it's also his name or what he goes by. That took me a minute to get. Baby. Mm. But didn't the phone ring? He didn't pick it up. Of course, he didn't know who I was or the worth of the junk in the trunk once he dumped it. But once I tracked him down, I made sure to tell him who I was, what I was capable of, and how much he owed me. Oh, that's horrible. Wow, great. So we just manipulating a child to work for you all these years. What the f is this man? Austin Powers. That said Michael Myers. This is Mike Myers. No, the killer dude from Halloween. Oh, you mean Jason. No. <laughs> Let's go. Wait, wait. That's actually hilarious. Just go. Okay, go. <laughs> That's actually so funny. They listened. Here we go. Let's go. Come on. I got this. Come on. Oh, he dead. Yeah. Is it getting in your head? Wow, we put him in a big ass truck this time. Man, I can't imagine how you'd maneuver with a car like this or escape the cops. Oh, he maneuvered the driving to save the guy's life. He didn't want him to die. He doesn't want that blood on his hands. Huh, sweetheart. Oh my God. Not this woman's car, oh no. Come on, ah! hit it. Give her her baby, please. Damn it, leave the baby in the car, leave the baby. No, you don't. You don't leave the baby in the car. What the fuck is wrong with you? I'm sorry, mama. What do you mean leave the baby in the car? What the fuck is wrong with you? So, this is it. Uh-huh. And you're all straight, baby. You're straight. That's it. Sure is. Yeah, but I'm sure he's still gonna wanna call you. I'm sure he doesn't wanna let you go. Yeah, get rid of it. Nice. But there's no way it's gonna be that easy <laughs> to get out of it, cause you know, we're only halfway into the movie. I live with my foster dad, but now he's getting old, so. Oh, he was, he was a foster dad? No, I mean, I'm, I'm not working. You're not driving anymore? No. I'm sorry. Oh no, he happy about it, don't worry. Well, aren't you the lucky one? <laughs> These two are smitten kittens, like, immediately. Oh, that's cool. The washing machine transition to a vinyl, I love that. Mmm. Oh, so, what, like a pizza, pizza. delivery job? <laughs> He, he will be there within 30 minutes or less, okay? I feel like he'd get fired for driving too crazy. You gotta drive normally, bro. Okay, like within the rules of the road. Whoa. That was fast. I know. I know. I know. <laughs> Where'd he get this car from? Huh? So much spinny camera. Cinematography. We get it, they like each other. You're all good, a gentleman picked this up already. Huh? No. Uh, 
Oh, no, he just won't. Yeah, well, listen, we had to have a, an uplifting, happy moment so he could get dragged back into this mess. I said we were straight, but did you think we were done, that that was it? Yeah, he wants to be done, yeah, uh-huh. And your uh, waitress girlfriend, she's cute. Let's keep it that way. He's horrible. I knew he was gonna come back around, though. <sighs> God dang it, leave him alone! People don't realize that there's gold in them, their hills. And oh, in the post office, wow. Great. Yeah, let's rob the government directly. Yeah, let's rob the government directly. Oh, and uh, take the nephew, less suspicious. Oh my God, we're really bringing your poor nephew into this mess. God damn. Everybody wants happiness, nobody wants pain. But you can't have a rainbow without a little rain. Wise lady. Mm-hmm. And he's getting more involved in these crimes now and seeing the impact and who the real victims are gonna be. You probably wouldn't even need to use a gun with her. Just say boo, and she'll give you the big bills first. Chips off the old block. Oh my god. Yeah, he is. He is. Wow, what a great influence we are on him, huh? Oh, it's oh, it's same it's the same crew, but they're just a a mish a mishmat. I can't speak. A mix of both. Welcome to La Chacatari. Uh-huh. We have only the finest cuts of pork direct from the local smokehouse. He really loves pretending he's a butcher, huh? It makes sense in case he's being recorded. At least it's like, no, I'm just talking about meat. Pig shoulder is a favorite of those who enjoy the smoking of pigs. What does the APD box mean? Well, I'm gonna go with the picnic shoulder because uh, I just love smoking pigs. Oh, is he a pig? Does he think they're all pigs? What if they're not? Oh my God. Is that what the APD box? He just cocked it back for her. Ah! He's not a gunman, okay? He's just the driver. I don't throw him at a bitch. Get him, baby, don't let him get away. Do something else. Listen, he's not. Oh, he did take a grenade, though. Is he gonna blow up the place? Wow. It did sync up with the music. Man, he's getting a lot of blood on his hands. That thing the uh, Punisher said to him was is right. Hey, stop, stop, stop up here. Stop up here. No. So stop, I'm hungry. No. No. We got to go in now. God damn it. God damn it, this is horrible. Oh my God, this is awful. So let me get three Cokes and one Coca. Four Cokes? Yeah. She's like, what the f is going on, dude? I hope Deborah doesn't say anything. I'm worried about them figuring out who she is and that he likes her. Baby, you know that Oh no, oh no, oh God. That's bad. I got this. Oh. Yeah, he stepped up. Oh, yeah, he stepped up. Okay. God damn. He really shouldn't have let them go here. What's that? Is that a note? Did he write her a note? Road trip 2 a.m. She's probably like, I don't even know what you do anymore. What? Those guys were thugs. What? Do I want to go on a road trip with you? What the heck? Bananas. Oh, what a reveal. Bananas. Whenever a deal is done with one of my clients, they call me on the phone and they say the word bananas and then they hang up. Uh-huh. I did not hear the word bananas tonight. Well, your contacts was cops, Doc. I know. They were my cops. Well, you should have maybe told them if, if they were cops. You didn't prepare them right. Go home. Job's off. Whoa, no, whoa. Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, let's take it off. It's over, Leon. Oh. Get out of town. Great. Let's all get out of town. I love it. Baby, your call. Do we do this thing or not? It's our vote. We're doing it. Let him speak. He doesn't want to do it. I said we all get some sleep. Get ready for this thing. Buddy's sus. Buddy's sus. Do we do this thing or not? Do we do this thing or not? Holy sh! Oh, and he's fantasizing about driving away with her in a 50s style movie. Why would he, oh, 2 a.m. Is he gonna try to sneak out? Why would he agree to do the job? Why wouldn't he just say jobs off? 
Oh, so why would he try to meet with her tonight and not tomorrow? Uh-oh. Yep. You can't sneak out, baby. You can't do it. Oh, no. Oh. He's just a kid. He doesn't want to do this. Because we got to discuss this. Uh-oh. How did he get that? Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? I like to listen back to conversations. I make music out of the words, songs, mixes. It's just something I do. That's one dumbass excuse. To be fair, even it's true. couldn't come up with an excuse that dumbass. Now, can you play us one of your mixes? Oh, no. Are they all home? We have to take them home? No way. Oh, my God. Now we're risking the safety of his... No, you don't. Foster parent. Oh, my God. Time to explain. Oh, they went. Oh, no. No, not the mom tape. No. Joe. Where is he? What are you doing? Oh, the cripple? God damn it. Oh, don't worry about him. He's good. You took his wheelchair. Wow. Was he slow? No. No. Behind the wheel. Was he slow? He actually does do it. He actually does. Yeah, guy. Yeah. Oh, no. Not Deborah's song. No. Yeah. Except I'm D-E-B-O-R-I. Deborah. Isn't that the waitress? No, god damn it. Have you been talking to Deborah about us? I don't say nothing about wheels. Oh my god. This is horrible! I'm your driver tomorrow. I'm driving. Well, you heard the kid. He's driving. I wonder why he really wanted to do the job. I mean, maybe he thought they were gonna hurt Deborah and his, his father, his foster father. Maybe he was like, no, just let me do it. I can prove myself one more time and be done. I feel like it's not gonna go well. Dude, I'm like shaky. This is a very suspenseful movie. I'm just constantly on edge, like worried for this kid. Is he gonna abandon them? There's no way he would, right? Oh no. Is it the nice lady that likes Dolly Parton? Oh, she recognized him. She's gonna, he's gonna let her go. No! Go okay, baby, let's go. She saw him. Let's go! Come on, baby, we gotta go, we gotta go. Oh, I don't think he can drive. Three, two, two, oh, no! One, no! Ah! Oh my God, he sabotaged them. He sabotaged him. What the f did you do? I moved. Yeah. What are you gonna do, baby? Is he gonna run? Oh, they're following him. Stop following him! I wonder, is he gonna get out of this mess, but he's gonna get them caught? I love that he got bats killed like that. That was pretty epic, I'm not gonna lie. And I'm glad the lady who likes Dolly Parton is fine. A little traumatized. Maybe he will get caught. Damn, I don't know how you outrun him on foot. Is he as good at his running as he is at driving? Wow, that was smooth. Maybe you're gonna get caught, baby. I don't know, this is pretty intense. A screwdriver? Are we gonna hurt somebody? Oh, is that what we're doing? He's got more sunglasses. He's driving again, but it's not going so well. Oh, it's really not going well. Baby, you are jinx. He's a jinx right now. He's a jinx. Oh, you dead. You dead. Think you can just shoot the cops like that? What the is wrong with you? Yeah, your love is dead. What you gonna do, buddy? He's gonna go out in a blaze of glory. Your iPod and the sunglasses are gone. Get out of the car. Get out of the car, lady. Get it now. Aww. Oh, my purse. Aw, poor lady. Is their car not working? He's got, oh, he's sitting there trying to find a song. I'm sorry, ma'am. What the f I know. I know. He's a little crazy. He's a little bananas. Poor lady. Oh, and you're parking the car right outside of your apartment too? Oh no. In downtown, no, no. 
Dangerous. Holy <gasps> He found he found the other car that's not his. I also like to listen sometimes to old records through the vibration. Is he dropping him off at a retirement home? Please look after me. Thank you. Oh, that's so sad. Oh my god, he did get him to safety. That's so sad. All he wanted was for him to work a good honest job and be safe. Yeah, he never ever cared about himself. Oh, there's they found him again. Oh, he's gone. He got away. Good luck. He's signing. Good luck. <laughs> Maybe he is going to get away. Holy shit. This is really just like a getaway movie. I know he started off that way. He found another car. Oh my God. Does she even want to be involved in all this? Your buddy's here. Uh-oh. That song! Is that the song that's playing? Oh, he's threatening her. Oh, goody. Oh, goody. He's gonna kill Deborah. Yeah. She was a good girl. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Very good girl. <laughs> she wasn't a crazy b at all. I loved her. I know. You did. You did. How did they... What the heck? Got a bathroom key. Are you serious? They're just taking a bathroom break? Are you serious? This is so insane! It's so high! Ah, she's shaking! There's so much tension! Isn't that right, baby? <laughs> baby! Baby, what the f? Come on, let's get out of here! I will find you. You're dying, buddy. Atlanta Police Department! He's already gone. They're gone. Oh my god. Show me where you've been shot. Yeah. Right there. Oh, wow, we had to kill that cop, really? Oh my god, I can't believe he just shot him like that. That's crazy. You ever shot a gun before, homie? I just did. Literally five minutes ago. Literally five minutes ago. I can't believe she's all in on this. I guess it makes sense, because like from the minute they met, they were clearly smitten with each other and immediately in love. Like you had to have that element to their relationship for it to make sense why she would be so gung-ho and ready to go with him. Oh, we came back here? Oh my God. Not a chauffeur. Noted. <laughs> oh yeah, it's the first time she's seen him drive, I guess. I'm not your lucky charm anymore. But I'm standing here asking for your help. There's nothing I can do for you, kid. You can give him the tape of his mom. <gasps> Why'd she come in? Why'd she come inside? Oh, God damn it. Look at the two. Okay, go get your f***ing tape. Oh, no. It's going to take more okay. than a cassette to get you two out of this. Wow, is he actually going to help him because of Deborah? I was in love once. Wow, he did pity them because of the romance. Banana. Oh, no. He is going to help him. Oh, my God. I thought he was just completely self-interested. Run, go. I thought I told you to run. God damn it. I'll deal with the cops. That's not the cops. Huh? Your killer track. He's alive? He's alive! Brighton Rock! Oh! Smart move. Nice. Always gotta buckle up, guys. Always remember to buckle up. We're literally running from a, a cop, but not a cop, you know? Oh my God, we're... Sh oh my God, this is terrifying. Man, she was... Deborah's just gung-ho from the, from the get-go. Oh no, we're using her as bait. We used her as bait. <laughs> He's already gone. He's so fast. Oh, we got a big truck now. <gasps> Baby! 
You did good, kid. No way. How? You know I gotta do the same. He took away his hearing? She gonna attack him? Come on, man, help! Holy <laughs> What a twist! I did not see him surviving that. Oh, he dead now. Okay, all right. Wow, is he gonna be like deaf or does he just have extreme tinnitus and he'll recover? Oh, they got out of there. She's driving him. Oh, we got the tapes, yeah. He can hear, just not super well. Maybe his hearing will come back. That's why I'm easy. There we go. I guess he had to touch the speaker because he we can hear it, but he can't hear it the same way. Maybe. Oh, wow, really? They found him? Is she going to be a driver now? What's happening? What? Yeah, man, I kind of wish he would have gotten away with it, but it makes sense because he went back to it at like that one time when he shouldn't have, even though he was kind of threatened and forced to, he still had a choice. How would you describe your relationship? Oh, we're a trial now? It was the strangest thing. He finally drove off and he gave him my purse right at me. Yeah, gave him. Gave her her purse. He looked at me and he shook his head. <gasps> the lady teller. Somehow tell me not to go inside. Yeah, he is He is a good guy. I hereby sentence the defendant to 25 years in the federal pen. Wow. 25 years? After five years, sir. 25 years. That's crazy. That's a lot of time. Maybe he'll get out after five years. You got a letter, kid. Is it from Deborah? Hey, baby. Yeah. I still can't get used to the fact that your real name is Miles. Oh, that's his real name. See you later, baby. All my love, Deborah. Ah, now there's a prison fence behind him. Oh, is this reality or is this a fantasy? Can't tell, huh? Is it real? Oh, it's a rainbow. <laughs> I guess it's up to the imagination whether or not that was reality or not. That was fun. This movie was definitely fun. I do feel like it had a lot of hallmarks of the directorial style that I kind of expect from Edgar Wright at this point. There were a lot of, you know, fast cuts and like sharp transitions that reminded me a lot of things that happened in Scott Pilgrim as well as throughout the Cordano trilogy, but with a much more high stakes and like intense, serious tone as opposed to the more comedic, playful style of those other movies. I also do like the way that he utilizes a lot of like symbolism and imagery and even just like subtle choices in the cinematography. Um, I think he is really smart about the way that he lays things out. Like even in the movie showing the sunglasses and that being repeated and showing that he always has these sharp sunglasses on and he always has spare pairs ready to go because it's a part of his routine and it's a part of him being able to drive. And when that jinx finally happens and he can no longer escape, the fact that one lens keeps getting broken or that he keeps losing a pair of sunglasses, like it keeps not working out, things like that, as well as, you know, not having his music, not having the radio be playing the right song like all of that is fun imagery to watch play out in the movie and really exemplifies what the character is going through and how he's unraveling and how this is like the final climax of the movie that's unfolding as this tangled web gets messier and messier and messier and he can't get away from it anymore I also like the fact that you know he did get out of it for a minute and we had that moment in the middle of the movie where things were happy we had that moment where he's having this happy romantic time with Deborah, and then he gets pulled back in to the criminal world and he has a choice you know he could say no although with a choice like I'm gonna kill everybody you love and break your legs is that really much of a choice probably not but he still could have gone to the police he still could have done something and it probably 
wouldn't have ended well for his loved ones, but you still do have a choice. And I think the fact that it didn't work out for him does make sense. Although I was kind of thinking, oh, maybe they will get to drive off into the sunset. But I think it turned out better that he got to have this trial where people could really say, you know, I do think he's maybe a good guy. Here are the nice things that he kind of did. And he's just a kid that got mixed up in the wrong stuff. All in all, I think it's just a fun movie that's really well directed. Like I think the cinematography and editing and symbolism in the props and the writing is really well thought through, but I don't necessarily think the movie's very deep. It just feels like a fun movie where we're watching, you know, these crazy criminal characters and things are really suspenseful and intense. You empathize for the character of Baby and so you do, you know, worry about him and the people that he loves, but it more so just feels like a fun getaway movie the whole time. I don't really feel like there's a lot of depth to the story, if that makes sense. I don't necessarily need that though from every single movie that I watch. I just don't know if this is a movie that I would really watch again, but this movie was fun, you know? I don't really have too much to say about it. I feel like it was just really well edited, really well directed, and just a fun time. If you guys liked watching this with me, definitely make sure to give this video a thumbs up so that I know and I can check out more stuff like this in the future with all of y'all. Of course, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and anything else you might like me to check out next and subscribe if you want to. Till the next one, stay golden. Bye.